everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Janie and I am a second year OBGYN resident. Today we are going to be doing a really fun video that I have been waiting for a really, really long time to make. So if you saw one of my previous videos, here she is and I'm so excited to unbox her. Here's my Louis Vuitton bag and so we're just gonna undo this little... It's a gift to myself. You will know that I bought my first designer handbag. This was back in May of 2019. And this was my graduation present from me to myself. It took me a long time to save for this purse, but I finally bit the bullet and I bought it. And I have to say that I am completely, completely in love with it. And I cannot wait to talk to you guys about my... Corset in Damier Azure with the pink lining and I love this little bag you guys. I couldn't have chosen a better bag. Previously before before buying this bag I was torn between getting a Speedy or a Louis Vuitton Neverfull or a Louis Vuitton Favorite and I had seen the corset but it, I was not sure if it would fit my lifestyle. I hadn't seen it around so it's not a bag that everyone has but I saw Chase Amy have it and I really really enjoyed watching her videos on the LV corset. It fit a good amount of things in her videos and she really seemed to love the bag. In addition to that I during that time purchased a similar bag in structure from Aldo. It's a yellow bag, it has a handle, it also has a crossbody strap, similar size and I use that yellow bag so so much that I knew that the shape and style of this bag would totally totally fit my lifestyle so when the Louis Vuitton favorite kept being out of stock all the time I decided to go for the Louis Vuitton corset and I do not regret my decision one bit I love this bag to death it is so durable it is so sturdy it is a really nice size I keep it usually like this I have a little hanger like purse hanger that I keep in my closet and I just hang it there because I can't for the life of me get it to stay on my closet like that. I have these plastic bubbles that come in packages. I usually keep it inside just to keep the bag with its normal shape. I got this tip for um, makes for all. It's a thing she recommended to keep your bags instead of stuffing them with the covers that can hold moisture and all of that. That it would it's better to keep these things inside. So that's what I did. Inside I keep the strap, the crossbody strap, and I use this bag. I've used it in the spring, the summer, fall, winter. I use it all the time. It is a white bag so it's very versatile it's a neutral color it goes with absolutely everything you can dress it up you can dress it down depending on what you're wearing and it fits all of my essentials I usually have room to spare so I have no complaints about this bag it definitely has no scuff marks anywhere I have worn it with jeans I am careful though I know about color transfer is a thing so I try not to wear very dark jeans or jeans that are new so I usually wear older dark jeans if I'm wearing dark jeans and using this purse. I've used it to travel with and it has held up just fine. When we went to Puerto Rico I took this bag and I stuffed it inside my Dagny Dover Landon carry-all just so that I could have it handy and it held up just fine. No issues there. I've actually had some sprinkling, sprinkling rain here in El Paso and it has not not stained so far. I do have the Apple Guard spray, but I've had it since I bought it and I haven't done that. I really like how it's starting to patina already. It's looking very still nice and clean. I have no issues. This strap fits my body perfectly for 
a crossbody bag. I honestly have no absolute concerns with this bag whatsoever. I would definitely purchase it again. I've actually been thinking about getting it in the Damir Eben color. I just don't know if it's a bag that I would wear, so I'm, I haven't bit the bullet yet. But this bag is just pure perfection, and I love it. It's my first designer handbag, and I wouldn't change it for the world. So I'm going to insert some extra footage of me showing you what fits inside and some mod shots. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so this is the bag. Um, I am wearing it crossbody and you can see my hip bone is right here and it hits right at the hip, which is a perfect length for me. You can also wear it as a shoulder, shoulder bag, which I don't really do as often unless I'm like walking from my apartment to the car you can wear it i also sometimes wear it like this like i leave the cross body strap so i don't have to be putting it on and off and i wear it on the crook of my arm you can carry it this way you can twist this so that you can hold on to the cross body strap and carry it in your arm it is really easy to undo so you just have a clip on and you hook it on to the little thing here, the same on the other side. You have this beautiful tassel here, which I use, I play with it, like I stress play with it. I don't know, I find it soothing. You could also take this off if you didn't like it and put a charm. I have wanted to get like a bandeau, a bandeau to put on here to kind of keep it safe. But yeah, I think this bag is absolutely beautiful. I love it so, so much. So yeah, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you what fits inside this bag. Okay guys, so here is the bag and I have a few of the things that I normally carry in my bag. So let's go ahead and open the bag and this is the inside. You have this little pocket right here. So I have this makeup bag from Ipsy that if I'm gonna take any makeup, I use this bag so that the makeup, if it opens or whatever, it doesn't ruin the inside of my bag. So that fits in there comfortably. This is my wallet. This is my phone. I have my keys. And I still have a room in here where I could fit some AirPods, I could fit a pair of sunglasses, and the bag still closes comfortably, and there is still room. I could also put the extra strap in here if I don't want it to get ruined, and I may be switching from crossbody to non-crossbody. So let's rearrange this a little bit better so that this fits. So we can put that there, and then we put this. And then you can see that the bag still closes. It fits comfortably. And that is usually all that I keep in my bag if I need anything at all. So that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you liked it and you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on social media to be up to date on what I am doing every single day. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.